43. What could that possibly mean? Well, 2022 minus 143 is 1879. Wait, that couldn't possibly mean. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Einstein. Happy birthday to you. And if I counted until 143, it would take forever. But, I mean, Einstein was one of the greatest physicists, so we have to celebrate his birthday somehow. Well, also, today is um, Pi Day. So, yeah. 3 slash 14 is a very special day. Especially 3 slash 14 slash 15. At... 1953. Ooh. Alright. So, now, let's see what SI units are. What SI units are really units or fundamental units in quantities used to measure um, seven things. First of all, length. What unit do we use to measure length? Well, we would use the meter. Now, what about time? Well, what would we use to measure time? The second. What would we use to measure mass? The kilogram. And so on and so on. <clears throat> now, let's explain what all of these mean. Now, obviously, length is the meter. Now, previously, it was defined as something in geography. However, now it is defined as the distance light travel in one over c. C being the speed of light in a vacuum. In meter per second. So now, what about time with seconds? Well, a second used used to be this keyword used. So it used to be one sixty of one sixty of one twenty fourth of a day. <coughs> Why? Well, remember, it was one sixty of a minute. In one minute was one sixteenth of an hour. So you could define it as a second is one over thirty six hundred hours. And then you have one over thirty six hundred times twenty four days, which is a pretty large number. I believe it's somewhere around 1440. So would that be somewhere like this? Uh, something like this, I believe. So this is just an estimation. Days. Now, <clears throat> that's what a second was. A kilogram is obviously Wait, I forgot to say what the second is now. What the second is now is really <clears throat> proportional to the frequency of a wave that is emitted by a random cesium atom. We'll get to that. So, what about kilograms? Well, obviously, there were thousand grams. We have amperes, we have moles, we have Kelvin. And we have candela. So now, these are all of our units. There are a lot of fundamental units already. We have seven. But there were even more derived units. What are derived units? Well, as, the, as their namesake is derived, they must be derived from somewhere. And that somewhere is the fundamental unit. So let's say maybe we add length and time. 
for an example. Now velocity is distance covered in time. A specified amount of time. So, hmm, D would be equal to M. Or because, or the unit for distance or length would be M, meters. While the unit for T, time, would be F, seconds. So we get V is meters per, or meters over a second. So that means that the unit for velocity is meters per second. Notice, we can take those fundamental quantities kind of place them here. All right. So now, what about acceleration? Well, acceleration, it changes velocity over time, which would be, once again, meters per second over second, which would be meters per second squared, which is acceleration unit. says that F equals MS, or force is equal to mass times acceleration. So, that means that force, uh, for, or the unit for force would be M is kilograms, and A is meters over second squared. So, that would mean that the unit for F is kilometer, kilogram meter per second squared. But that's very, I don't know, big in depth or big and loose. Why can't we just compress it into one unit? And that's exactly the purpose that the Newton serves. It also serves as another way to honor whoever, oh, who made F equals M so I think Newton. Now, what about work? Well, work is force done over a distance. We know force, that's newtons. And we know distance, that's meters. So work is done in newton meters. But wait, what if we wanted to break this down even more? Well, we realize that newtons are Kilogram and kilogram and then meter over second squared. So multiplying that by m would give you essentially kilogram meter squared over second squared. So work can be expressed like this. It can be expressed like this. Or it can most commonly be expressed like this, the jewel. So those are just a few examples of derived quantities or derived units. Now, that's really all we have for today. Thank you everybody for watching and we'll see you next time.